Okay, hello once again to Land Rover Toolbox videos, the mass airflow sensor. And if you're going to buy one, it's MHK100620G G for this 10P TD5. Right, well, this uh, mass airflow, we did actually uh, check it when we first bought the vehicle. And on this part here, this is a 12 volt feed to the mass airflow with a hot wire. And we couldn't get a reading out of it. Quick check of the uh, wiring diagram showed us that fuse uh, 15A, it's F2, 15 amp fuse was um, responsible for the circuit. As usual, we always check a fuse which we know is going to be good to make sure our meter is all right. And this basically is just a meter which is a graphing meter. So we're up to 12 volt on that one. We have a feed into the fuse and on the other side it's dead so basically this was a blown fuse we found at the end of the day so luckily we have with the key on engine off uh, battery power to the mass airflow okay so i'm going to keep this simple today mass airflow basically this one is a three wire type and it's an analog mass airflow this measures the volume of air that goes to the engine now you also have a uh, ambient temperature sender or IAT which is fitted in the um, filter housing. Some of the later ones will have them together with the mass airflow but this one doesn't so they are actually separate units. Okay so the mass airflow uh, sensor itself is a hot wire type. You can see the wire in there that is actually a hot wire. The 12 volts is to get it to a certain temperature as the air flows past, it will try and cool it down. The ECU will supply more to keep it at that temperature. Okay, so the three-wire plug, we have an earth from ECU. And then we have a sensor, 5 volt sensored wire, which um, is from the ECU. And you have a battery supply voltage. Right, we're going to plug in, first of all, an EOBD reader. Well, in fact, it's the Hawkeye Pro. And basically, we'll just quickly go through this and go to live data anything that can read this vehicle with live data should be able to give you um, a fair bit of information now I'm not really interested in anything else here um, most of these sensors are okay but what we're trying to concentrate on at the moment is the voltage for the mass airflow and not the kilograms per hour right so we can rev the engine run the engine with live data and what we have is the math sensor voltage is 1.9, let's say 2 volts. As we accelerate, the voltage actually increases. This is on the 5 volt maximum uh, sensor wire. Okay, you can see that. If we pull the fuse, we cut the power to the math, which the ECU then says, ah, oh, there's nothing there. And basically what you get is 0 volts. So it's not actually correct that the sensor goes from 0 volts to 5 volts, so it's not 100% true. We push the fuse back in, and what we find is we have a 1.95, uh, and as we accelerate, the voltage will increase. Okay, this is reading it through the ECU. Right, the circuit where I pulled the fuse, the fuse is here, fuse 2. And you can see we have the EGR throttle inlet modulator. We also have a sense of mass airflow, power supply, and the wastegate solenoid control. So that's supplying quite a lot just on those wires via that fuse. So if this fuse blows, it knocks out quite a bit. The MAF itself it helps with the fueling strategies for the ECU so it can work out how much fuel to put in at certain revs under certain loads under certain conditions. However, if we have no voltage there and the mass airflow is not working, the ECU will then substitute values to keep the engine running, which is not ideal. Okay, so using this terminology, key on engine off. First of all, we can check that we have an earth. Okay, that will be somewhere near zero. And then we can check our sensor wire. That will also be near zero. And then we have our battery power, which should read battery power. Okay, working from left to right, we have the battery voltage, which is 12.2. We should have as near as damn it zero volts. Well, this is 0 0.6. And on the earth, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. 
Okay, basically there's no voltage at those two wires. That is quite correct because there is no additional voltage required. Right, so what we'll do is turn the key on and then we're checking the mass airflow. We will start with the uh, battery voltage which is now 14.3 and it will go up a little bit because the battery is now charging. Okay, it's alternator power through the whole system and what we should find at idle is 1.95 which is exactly right. This is what you should see with the engine at idle. Okay, there is actually a lot more to mass airflow, but I just want to get you used to, first of all, the idea of how this actually works. So, I'm going to tell you that probing it from the back, you could use a, a paper clip with your multimeter. And then basically, if you can see over there, it's not the best of shots, is that when I rev the engine, you'll see the voltage will actually go up. All right, so this is what you do basic or do a basic check to check your mass airflow that it is actually working. Okay, we'll get deeper into this later on in um, this TD5 series. I just want you to first of all understand the principle behind this sensor.